With so much new and exceptional hardware being announced and released in the last few months, if you're at all interested in upgrading your current PC or getting your first, my friends over at Artesian Builds have you covered. We're currently building out the PC that you'll be seeing here, driving the content for a long while to come. With quality builds, reliable service, and some of the friendliest people I've worked with in the industry. If you're at all interested, click the link in the description below to learn more and get up to $100 off your next build using code ESPRESSO. So it's officially launch day, and if you're jumping into Black Ops Cold War, I hope that you're enjoying yourself while ranking up everything, either in relation to multiplayer. I know that the Zombies Easter Egg was just recently unlocked and also subsequently completed. So I hope you are enjoying yourself. There's no shortage of what you can jump into and play. But today, while we focus on a ton of multiplayer and content of the like on the channel normally, I want to take some time and share some love for the story of this game, the campaign, which I do hope you will give a chance at some point, whether or not you want to just relax on a weekend and play through it. It's a good campaign to check out. Today, though, we're going to be diving into one specific piece of the story, the darkest timeline, as Abed would put it, because one unique feature of this game compared to other Call of Duty titles is the free will of the player, the opportunity to change the outcome, and if you're really feeling evil, there's an ending for you now. Now, a fair warning, this does contain spoilers, so if you wish to avoid them, feel free to click off. But as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Have you guys played the campaign just yet? Would you like to see more campaign videos? Because there is a ton of stuff here that we can talk about. I'm a huge story nerd, and I love this introduction into the Black Ops universe, and I think there's a lot to discuss. So I'd be happy to share if you guys are interested. As well, if you are new to the channel, do be sure to subscribe button if you have not done so already. We're on the road to 400,000 subscribers, and we'll keep you up to date with all things Black Ops Cold War, and have plenty of content planned here that you won't want to miss. But anyways, let's talk about Black Ops Cold War's campaign. Now, as we mentioned, you have free choice in this game. There are plenty of side avenues that you can take, including rescuing hostages, narrative and dialogue answers or questions that you can take that's entirely up to you, the player, and direct changes that you can make in the game. Some, not all, will affect the actual outcome of the game. Things like discussing with characters in the safe house haven't really seemed to prove any ending alterations, but rather prove to give you more information about the world around you, both the Black Ops universe and this little bubble that is the story of Cold War. Now, through a few playthroughs of my own, I've found that there's two main endings here. I'm still going to be going through the fine tooth comb to see if there's any others based upon very precise choices, but we'll have that probably at a later point if there is any. However, plot twist withstanding, you are given a choice in one of the final missions of the game, and it's perhaps the biggest decision you have in the entire campaign, maybe even the Black Ops franchise, in which that choice is that you can give your team the information needed to either stop Perseus or you can lie to Adler to aid Perseus. Now, with the backstory and that twist to learn, you'll understand why there is an option to lie and betray your squad, but if you choose correctly, of course, save the day. If you give them the correct answer, you get that feel-good hero moment that Call of Duty story arcs usually provide. And that wraps things up. Perhaps maybe not as you'd imagine, to which on that front to understand that more, you'll have to play through yourself, but the other one, you can absolutely sow chaos like we've never seen before in a Black Ops game or maybe even any COD game in general, to the point that there is absolutely no question which ending is considered canon and which is not. Now, here's the real heavy spoilers. Again, if you wish to avoid this, a final chance to click off. In a last ditch interrogation, you're left with the choice to either give up the information that you know about where Perseus is going to be making his final stand or lie to Adler and your crew, leading them off the trail and towards a way that would do nothing but frankly ruin everything. If you choose to lie to Adler, you then are pulled from the medical cart and he and the squad believes you. You can walk into the safe house like you would almost be able to in the traditional ending, except this time there's a 30 second countdown timer to which you can actually go and radio the Russians and let them know of your misdirection and allow them to set up an ambush. In this mission, you head to Duga, the at the time new over the horizon radio system used as an early warning network for the Soviets, but it's a wooded area, perfect for an ambush. You get there and everybody basically questions why there's nothing on site, why there is nothing that points to stopping the most catastrophic event in human history, and this is where things start to unfold. Now, for the full gravity of it, I'll just let you check it out. Sure, you're not forgetting something, though. There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We ain't seeing anything on our side either. It's him. Fucking lied to us. That true, Bill? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes. 
kind of fucked up logic is that? What a waste. You actually could have done something with yourself, kid. Those nukes were for defense, not offense. You don't recognize the difference? I'd let you walk back to Perseus, but I think I'll spare you the regret instead. Why am I not fucking surprised? Time's up, kid. Cat becomes the mouse. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? Face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Huh. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Hmm, yet. For humanity. Their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done.
My God. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. Watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, And they too will be replaced. So what absolute madness. Yes, you can on one hand end the story in the campaign, the hero, the good guy, or you can absolutely dismantle the entire universe of Black Ops. Not only one by setting a world into a post-nuclear fallout world where dozens of nuclear bombs were set off across all of Europe, but also where you completely kill off everyone that is a main staple in the Black Ops franchise, minus say Hudson. So it is an absolutely crazy and extreme ending and one that I think was a really cool way to again offer some unique choice in the game itself for the player to make that Raven and Treyarch have allowed. So quite the ending again, I think it's pretty obvious this is not the canon ending, simply because if it were, it would retcon Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 4 if you wanna go that far. So definitely pretty standard which one is the safer bet here with this. And if you were to take that canon ending, again, if you wanna experience it, definitely play through it. Make the right choices, the pretty blatantly obvious, morally sound choices for the campaign. Then you'll be able to see how it ends in kind of a wrapped up fashion where it affects the Black Ops campaign, sure, but not necessarily. Where it tells a story that fills in the gaps and the blanks between 1980 and 2025 with Black Ops 2, but also doesn't really detract from anything that you already knew. Kind of just adds in for it. It's the El Camino to Breaking Bad of the Call of Duty franchise. It's not necessarily needed and not necessarily bad, but it just adds more context and information to the universe. But that said, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Just wanted to showcase one of the outcomes here of the new campaign. And having played through it, when I saw the kill icons above the heroes, I audibly was like, oh no, way. Definitely a surprise and one that was very intriguing, so I wanted to share that with you. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below if you are new to the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing writing all things Call of Duty Black Ops, Cold War, multiplayer, maybe some campaign stuff, Warzone in the future. We got you covered here on the channel with all of that. So if you guys want to stay up to date with all that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected to my side of YouTube. Frankly, live on both those. So if you guys are struck up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, links in the description below. But said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.